Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about, um, oh, I, I know my hair. <laughs> if I get one more comment. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. All right. So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, emotionally creative recovery, uh, and that's borderline, okay? Um, and then malignant uh, narcissistic personality. Okay. Uh, I don't use the word disorder, so I just won't say it. Okay. Yeah, so this is my disclaimer. Um, I'm not licensed therapist, anything, blah, 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 whatever. All right. So good. Let's just get into it. This video and videos after it that deal with how to recover from uh, borderline personality or malignant narcissistic personality. Uh, this is how you recover. Um, when I say this is how you recover, you got to wait for it. Um, I, I mean it. Um, I, I don't give a shit what the academics say. Uh, if you do this, you will recover. Is that the INFJ in me? Or, or is that the malignant narcissism in me? Or is that just uh, a healthy, positive self-esteem? I don't know. We'll see. All right. So anyway, um, the first thing that you need to do is, is this. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos, my other videos talk about the, the difficulty in recovery based on your age. Um, the younger you are, the less you know about yourself. It's going to be difficult, but it's still very possible, but it's difficult. Then as you get to know yourself through your 20s and 30s, and you have a rear view mirror of what you have done to not only yourself, but to other people, it becomes easier. But then as you get into your late 30s, going into your 40s, late 40s, going into your 50s, uh, you know, that, that kind of swooping, you know, life cycle. Um, and I'm 49, so if you're my age or older, you understand what I'm saying with the life cycle. If you're younger, you're probably like, what are you talking about? And if you're in the middle of it, you might have an idea, but you still might be like, what are you talking about? So there's basically a life cycle, uh, start, begin life, set your roots, get married, have children, uh, either successful or wreck. And then it just, you get it if you're, if you're my age, but all right. Um, so the, the first thing that you need to do is, um, admit, uh, you need to look in the mirror and you need to say, I have and I am emotionally creative and or I am borderline personality. And look yourself in the mirror and admit it. The most important part of that and the reason why is because you're actually answering and telling your inner self something that it's been dying to hear for a very, very long time. And once you admit it, and, 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 oh, and by the way, when you do, if, if you don't feel um, a sense of all of the shame and the blame of the academics and society, you have a disorder, you're mentally this, you're fucked up, you're this. If you don't feel an instantaneous charge in your gut of, oh my God, I'm wrecked. Oh my God, I have a disorder. Oh my God, everyone who ever said I was wrong or blah, blah, blah. I mean, that should all just suck your gut. I don't know how else to say it. It should just, it should just, it just should just annihilate the inside of you sincerely. And I know what it feels like. <laughs> Trust me, I do. And you, you have to feel that. So that's step number one, admit it. If you don't feel that, then you're not admitting it because in my opinion, it's impossible to not connect the inner self to the subcon to the conscious mind to the visual reflection in the mirror and the bounce back looking at the soul in your eyes you know what i mean your inner self and connecting all that together i i i am going to say it is not possible to admit without having that feeling that's me i'm going to say it but we're all different and you get blah 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 okay the second thing is when you cry and you're devastated and you feel that in your gut, okay, either run out of the bathroom, okay, 
and then come back later and do it again and do it again and again and again. And then number two, tell yourself, I do not have a disorder. I'm innocent. I don't have a disorder. Now, if you have the, the whatever, I'm not sure what it is, but if you play the victim or you don't take help or you um, want to do everything by yourself, and I've talked about this in other videos, and you isolate yourself on this island, that's a part of the academics antisocial. Well, personality disorder and blah, 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 and all that bullshit. But what you need to understand is that when you, what, what, what basically all that is, is that's wanting and desiring validation from everyone else and coming toward you. And by you playing the victim, by you not wanting help, you attract people in your life that give it. So basically what you're doing is you're sucking the life from them because you don't have that. So you need to understand and, and get to a point where you believe it. And, and, and I think that's where some individuals have a problem with my, um, with my videos because they're like too straightforward. You know, they're too cut and dry. Well, keep it simple. It is simple. And those that, you know, come at me and say, it's not that simple. Yes, it is. You are just not willing to admit. You just aren't willing to let go of what you've been surviving on. And, and that's scary. And I'm not saying it's not scary. I'm not saying it's not challenging. And I'm not saying that, that I'm 100% right either. But what I am saying is this. When you own responsibility for who you are, the hurt you're placing on yourself and the hurt you're putting on others, and more importantly, the life your life that is just passing you by. Well, if that's how you want to live, keep doing what you're doing. Because all you're going to do is tell people like me that I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. And basically, like I've heard before, who the fuck are you? I've heard it. Trust me. Okay. All right. So you do not have a disorder. You are innocent. And what has happened to you, which is what happened to me, is natural. It is, if you watch my other videos with the separation and, and, and of the conscious and the subconscious mind and inner self, it's the way the body and the mind work. Now, I have my own theories on that and, and you know, soul and things like that, but that's not what this video is about. But you need to look at one, two, and three and then reread it three, two, one. It's a natural defense when we, when, when we, are tr when we face trauma under the age of, of 15, 10, 5, and way more important, four, uh, four, 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 three, two, one, you do not have a disorder and admit it. You must be able to do that in order and in, in, in reverse order of, for understanding. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little complicated. So um, I'm going to get something for you because I need to, like, come on. I, you remember, I got to do the dark. <laughs> I got to do the dark before I go light. Okay. So I'm going to get something out and show you. And then I'm going to talk about number four. I did not do this because no one said this to me, but I believe that it is, um, way more important than what I ever read and way more important than what I did. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to write and you can do it like I did. And I'm going to show you what each one of these are is they are dated. And these are dated like this one here is a 725, uh, 17. Okay. And these are all my notes, everything on inner child work. Okay. Then what, what, what I did is I went and got one of these books and I recommend getting one of these books for step number four. And what you can see is, is 
it's the same. And this is me writing. And if you can see the red, it's so funny. Um, I'll talk about this in a second. But the red is my mom. And I'll talk about that in a second. My mom wrote in here. And it just, well, you get the point, right? It just keeps going. What I want you to do is you're going to write. And, and, and you can do two or three. Mine was one, but this is much better advice. Write everything your inner self is feeling or thinking. And when you write, you just write, okay? And my name in mine, and I've talked about this before in other videos, my name was Little Marty. That's just what I called him. It was easy. And, and, and when you're, so it was Little Marty, so call yourself a little whatever. Give your inner child a name. Okay, so it's um, happy, okay? And the next one is going to be, um, this is all inclusive. So happy is manic, happy is just anything other than this. Hate, uh, anger, split, uh, depression, okay? And then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wanted to do it this way. That's what the difference was, okay? Um, it was here. Depression. So you will have three of them. Um, happy. Everything is perfect. Your loving life. Hate, anger, splitting. And the last one is depression. The reason why you want to remove uh, depression from this and this is because depression has a way of infiltrating all of this, but they're not connected. They, they, they are not the same, okay? So you, you definitely want to keep them. And, and, and you, basically, if you go to number five, okay, um, what you are doing is you are learning who you are. Do not ever write what your conscious mind is saying. Everything you write comes from your inner self, from your inner gut. It's the voice that talks to you. No matter what it is, you write it down. And do use shorthand, don't worry about grammar, don't worry about anything, and just write. You're going to understand how your inner self and how, not alive, but that it truly exists. That your inner self is a little child that it truly is your emotional place and your and your your central nervous system and your conscious mind are completely separate those are two separate completely things that are parts of you and you are basically without and I'm not getting religious and I'm certainly not getting spiritual but you are basically going to connect with the reality of who you are that you are innocent and that you don't have a disorder. That you love yourself and can, and can admit that it wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. It was the trauma. It was, and, and it was how our, my, your inner self naturally defends itself and how fragile we really are as infants. This will help both. And, and I'll do a, a little side note on malignant narcissistic personality. Um, and this is mainly the 80-20 rule. This is 80% uh, borderline uh, personality or the for, for recovery for the emotionally creative. Um, but in other videos, um, I will get into uh, what you do with all of this. It takes a long time. It does. Um, anyway. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Um, well, I hope this video helps and, um, yeah, that's it. This is Marty and we'll see you in the next video.